how's it going guys today I'm gonna show you how to make a type beat thumbnail in Photoshop if you don't have Photoshop uh, you know just send me a message right here and I'll show you how to legally get it bueno. At the highest that I ever be, yeah. Look through the clouds, you just see God in me, yeah. Going hard, that's the God in me. 2 a.m. whipping, can't fall asleep. Alright, so if you go on YouTube and look up anything, if I filter through, look up type beat, type beat, go to view count, and then go to this month. You got this with 1.2 million, and you got all these videos. And a lot of them, like each channel, if you see this guy, Lakes, has his own like type of thing for each thumbnail. Just a basic image over like a blank background. But a lot of other people have that. And I'm gonna show you how to make something that'll stand out and you can call your own. Just make sure it matches with your site. Like if you see my catalog, all these match with the, my YouTube channel and all the pictures on there. And yeah, so first thing I'm gonna do is just look up anything. I'll just look up a rapper, so I'll just do Rich the Kid. And you want something with a blank background or something that has good lighting, so I'm gonna look up background. Because usually, like, backgrounds have good lighting. You're gonna go to images, go to tools, size, large. That makes sure that you have a good resolution. All right now, this one looks good, but it's too small, so I'm gonna, 6,000, but it'll say 6,000, but if it's like small here, then it'll be small in Photoshop, so, try this one, this one's okay, oh, this one's cool, so I'll take that, alright, now I'm gonna hop into Photoshop, alright, we're in Photoshop, and I accidentally recorded this without showing my mouse, you have no idea what I did, but basically I dragged it in. Sorry to interrupt this video, but if you're watching this and you like the video, like the video, and then subscribe and hit the notification bell so you can hear more from me. Alright, I right, right clicked on it, clicked rasterize layer because it was, it was, you can't move it unless when you pull a new image in, went to edit. Content aware scale that made it so I could just squeeze it the background out and instead of having to paint it in. And then I just added a green gradient to match his hair. And to do that, I just went over here, right clicked, went to the gradient tool, and just grabbed the color here. And then after that, I put a filter over the image by going to filter, noise, and I went to dust and scratches, and I just made it look a little bit more vintage. Next thing I did, made a couple squares, put some text in it, named the beat. Now what I'm gonna do, I have a text layer selected, I'm gonna hold control, click on the icon, and then I'm gonna press delete on my keyboard. Oh, I need to, then I'm gonna click on the layer that I'm editing. I'm gonna press delete on my keyboard. And I'm gonna delete the text layer. And now there's a hole in it. I'm gonna do the same thing with the other one. So I'm gonna press control, click on the icon for the text, select the square it's in, press delete, control D to deselect, and then delete the text. Now what I'm going to do is pull it up down here, put, take the text, put it right here, I'm going to double click on the layer, then I can add a drop shadow, delete the, get rid of some of that size, angle it, spread it, or not spread it, yeah, increase the size a little bit. Bring it in. And pull it out. Mess with the opacity. 
and I could do the same thing for the other one and it'll already be saved so I could just click on the effect and it'll do the same thing. All right, now that we have this, it still looks kind of bland. So what I'm gonna do is mess around and add a filter over it. See if I could spice it up a little. Just gonna grab this and press screen. I got this from Google, by the way. I just looked up dust. You just look up dust and scratches and just go to large like we did before. Maybe I could bring this over it. Now what I want to do is kind of make a box that outlines his head and then it goes under the gradient. So I'm going to create a box here. And I'm going to fill it with black. Make sure it's in a new layer so it doesn't affect all the other layers. Control D to deselect. I'm going to press Control J to duplicate. Then I'm going to decrease the size by 1, 2, 3, 4. This many pixels. Let me just make sure to see how that looks from the top. Press Control 0 to zoom out all the way. And then Alt and scroll to zoom in a little bit. Pull out there. I'm going to try and make this a square. Zoom out. Now if I put my finger on the screen, that's almost a square, it's a little bit short. So I'm just going to pull that up just a little bit. I'm going to grab it. Now it's a little bit too tall. So in the middle, and now it should be good. I'm going to press control, click on the icon, go to the other layer, delete, control D, delete the top layer. Now all I'm going to do is pull this under the gradient and I'm going to shrink it, put it in the middle, maybe even put it behind the ridge. Oh, I can't. Maybe if I select the background. Now I can put it behind a ridge. What I just did is I just took a magic wand, press Control X, and then Control Shift V to paste it into a new layer. So now I could just put this behind Rich. This is the wrong layer. Hold up. All right. Put that behind Rich. Shrink it, maybe bring down the opacity. And there you go. Now you could use this, save it as a template, and just put other images under it. Basically anything will work. Really, you could go wild, make anything you want. Just make it unique to you. And even what I'm gonna do now is I'm just gonna go take my logo. Maybe just put my logo somewhere off to the side. Just mess around with it, make it your own thing. And that's how you do it, man. Yeah, um, I'm going. I'm, hope I'm uploading a lot this week because of Corona break. So subscribe to the channel, put notifications on, follow me on my socials, and yeah.